when dealing with the question of whether something should transfer with the sale of the property, we can often draw clear conclusions on what stays and what goes. But in some cases, it's not as simple as you might think. Let's discuss this and more next. Having coffee with capital. Hello, thank you for joining us again for Coffee with Capital. My name is Kelly Yaunt and I'm an attorney with Capital Title. Today we will be discussing the improvements and accessories that stay with the house upon a sale and the ones that are removable by a seller. Many times this can be a touchy issue between the buyers and sellers. The buyer sees and wants a particular item to stay with the house and the seller's headset on taking the item with them. What items have to transfer with the property and which ones do not? And what can you do to be sure this issue won't come up at closing? Paragraph two of the one to four contract lays out some of the seller's property items that are improvements and therefore considered fixtures that transfer with the house. The main criteria to look for is are the items built in and permanently installed? Just some of the improvement items specifically named in 2B are ceiling fans, mailboxes, AC units, fire detection equipment, light fixtures, chandeliers, garage door openers, landscaping, and any other attached property to the real property. When you ask how does Trek come up with a particular list of items, you can bet it's because all of these items have been an issue in the past between parties. So in an effort to keep conflict at a minimum, Trek is continuously staying apprised of what types of property are reoccurring issues. Paragraph 2C lists several accessories that have been highly contested in the past. Accessories are typically items that have been more of a gray area between buyers and sellers. The accessories listed in 2C also transfer with the house and consist of fireplace screens, curtains and rods, door keys, swimming pool maintenance accessories, and even artificial fireplace logs. Now, what if your seller does not want to transfer an item? For example, grandmother's chandelier. That's fine, that's what 2D is for. This exclusion section allows a seller to list out any items they do want to remove and take with them. Some of the most common items we see in this section are refrigerators, draperies, rods, or a particular chandelier. So if the seller can reserve these items, what's the problem? The most common problem we see in 2D is that the item is not described specifically enough. For example, I would argue that the word chandelier is not sufficient. Instead, it would be better to put crystal chandelier in the breakfast nook, and in some instances you might need more details than that. Are there two chandeliers in the breakfast nook, or one right at the opening so the buyer could be confused which one you are referring to? Also, what if the buyer doesn't think the area you are referring to is the breakfast nook? See how these issues can arise if the description is not specific enough? So please make sure you are covering your clients thoroughly when excluding property. Another hot item that you should address, in my opinion, is refrigerators. The general rule is refrigerators that are built in stay with the property, but ones that are standalone and that can be easily removed stay with the seller. But again, now you're up against one person's opinion versus another. If the refrigerator being built in is questionable for any reason, please clarify on your contract. I hope this information has been helpful to you. I look forward to seeing you next time. As always, please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or concerns. Again, I'm Kelly Yaunt with Capital Title, and I work on behalf of all of you. Contact me at any time. You will find all my contact information in the video description. We welcome any comments you have, so please do not hesitate to drop them in the comments below. Have a wonderful week, and I hope to share another cup of coffee with Capital next week. See you soon.